Hello, hello everyone, it's me, Denim. Welcome back to episode 25 already. Oh man, it goes pretty fast, doesn't it? Uh, we're playing Feed the Beast on the agent server, as always. I've just removed the chest from behind the windmill and I've stuffed everything in those chests. Um, yeah, I seriously need to get started on that storage room. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have a project yet for today. Let me show you what I've been up to. I've uh, freed Mr. Cervantes over here. And um, yeah, he was, if you don't remember, he was stuck in this uh, wheat farm. We lost him for a second. It was for the best. It gave us a little bit more room to work. Um, it, it was a really nice gesture. And also a nice gesture was removing the dirt from our farm so you wouldn't suffocate. Uh, last episode I showed you this, so um, Woody is doing his job. He's uh, back at it, and I've, gave him, I've given him some spruce wood saplings this time, uh, just to fill everything up. So this has grown really, well, really well, and my test now is to see if it'll actually filter out the birch wood separate from the, um, the normal wood. Uh, let's hope so. I really hope so. I think it'll work. Uh, the way we are going to test this is I've left exactly three stacks of wood in this chest of birch wood and then the rest. If this gets filled up in any way by birch wood, then we know it's not working. And uh, yeah, for the rest, I have so much wood. We need to start thinking of maybe a system to export everything to our, um, to our farm as well. We could do that today, really. That could be pretty fun. Um, what else could we do today? We could work on the back. We still need to connect the attic. The attic is going to be our maintenance room on that build. Um, what else? What else? What else? The tree farm is as good as finished. Except, oh yeah, the, the bottom part. But we'll, we'll do that together probably. Uh, I don't really want a buildy episode. We've had a few of those lately. Um, what else could we do? We have a cart still over here this is a farmer cart so basically what we can do is make an automated potato farm and what this cart also has is the solar engine um, so that basically allows us well that that we won't need coal for it to work it'll just work in the day um, stop at night let the let the potatoes grow or whatever uh, or the wheat even and then in the morning or when it gets solar power again, it'll start working. This card seriously looks epic. Uh, let me just show you. I'll lay down some track. It's not going to move at the moment, but check this out. <laughs> it looks so good. And what, what looks even better is this is the solar engine. If that pops out in the morning, what time is it? It's almost daytime. If that pops out in the morning, that seriously, oh, that looks so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we could do that. We'll make a potato farm over on that side. We could make a mob trap, but I'm not really interested in, in making a mob trap on camera. If that's something you would like to see, post it in the comments. But I think that everyone knows how to make a mob trap by now. Especially if you're playing Feed the Beast, I think. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, but if you would like to see that on camera, I'll, I'll make a mob trap. No problem. Uh, what else could we do? Storage room? Hmm, kind of want to put that off. I think we're going to make a system in the back here to, uh, to choose... Well, we're going to work on the maintenance room on the back here and then we'll make a system to choose where the items will go to. So at the moment they're going to the green slot. We'll probably make them go downwards. Uh, I don't know which color it is, to be honest. I think white or black. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about it. It's it's going to be pretty easy, though. We'll just put some pipes over here. And, uh, well, one, maybe. We'll put... Um, We'll put four pipes over here, uh, maybe iron pipes downwards, and then we'll we'll uh, make them flow into one pipe, and then that one pipe will go underneath here, so it'll go through our farm that we have over here. Oh, that's gonna be a problem again over there, isn't it? 
Hmm. What we could do is have the pipe cross somewhere here and then go to the other side because we don't have anything at this side. We have a lot of room basically. That's That would be good. Okay. And then once we get over here, we'll be underneath the walkway again. Uh, and as you may know, we have pipes already. So we can maybe... Oh, maybe we can hook these up actually. Maybe we don't need to go that far. Let's let's look that up. Let's work on that today. That's maybe a good project. Um, oh, so the, the sheep are so loud. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, that's that's a little bit better for me at least. Um, hmm. So these are the pipes we have. This is the pipe for the extra seat, so we can't connect it to this one. We can, however, connect it to this one. Uh, make this an iron pipe, maybe? No, no, not this one. This one. This side. Yes. Um. I don't know how to fix this, though. I think we might need to make a pipe that flows through here. I think I might do that. I think that would be for the best. We'll make a neutral pipe that flows all the way around here. And all of the items that we send through this building, we are going to send through that neutral pipe. And it's going to be one way um, for sure. We don't need two ways. Mm, yeah, that could be good. So I'm just going to have a neutral pipe flowing all the way through. And we could connect it. Oh, we could connect it somewhere over here. I think the best would be right behind there. Wow, oh, can't fly here. Ah, my jetpack ran out. Right behind here, we're going to connect it with an iron pipe. I think. I think that would be the best. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to make all of the uh, pipes needed and everything. I'm going to break open the floor. Oh, I shouldn't have. Maybe it was a bad idea to let Mr. Um, Cervantes out already. Uh, oh well. Okay, I'm going to recharge my jetpack, make all of the necessities, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I am done with this. I've created all of the materials and I, I've been busy and recording and everything. But I decided to scrap that footage and I'm just going to show you what I've done because it, it got a little bit boring, it got a little bit repetitive. Um, yeah, let me just show, go around and show you what I did uh, in detail. So, let's start over here. Um, as you know, our friend will come over at this box, at this carbo cargo manager. All the items will come out and it, they'll enter the sorting system. Now what we can do is create a maintenance room right in the back here, um, as usual, as always. And we can regulate where the items end up to, either in the chest or in these pipes, by placing them in the right slot. So if you place these in green, they'll go uh, into the chest. If you place them in black, they'll go into these iron pipes. Now, iron pipes are one-way pipes, if you didn't know. Um, so these are one-way, well, routed one-way into the cobblestone pipe over there. So uh, I've also placed the chest over here with all of the items, so we can easily um, swap them out without having to jump uh, over, over the thing all the time. Um, anyway, so the items will go into this this pipe and I've laid that one down with uh, golden pipes to speed everything up and that pipe goes all the way till over there underneath the board boardwalk like that I left it open we can actually close this up right now let's just do that while we're at it so it'll go all the way around the boardwalk uh, and I'll leave this open because I need to still do the glowstone and all that underneath the boardwalk It'll enter this pipe. This is another one-way pipe. It'll all go that way. And eventually, it'll enter our storage room. Now, I've been messing around with this. Um, it, it's a bit of a hassle. I've made this three times now. The first time I made this was with four different pipes in this walkway. So four next to each other. One here, one here, as you can see. 
one here and one here and I try to regulate the items to the appropriate router over there so everything needs to be connected to that chest to these those three chests I had so much trouble with that and I'm glad I did because for our storage room project we'll, uh, we'll probably encounter the same problem um, I had a problem because apples in my storage room are on the far side of it standing here on the far side uh, wood is on the closest side and wheat is on the the side on the left um, That is a serious problem because we need to route all of the different types to the appropriate chests if wood goes in there We are basically creating um, a clog we're cl clogging up the system as you can see so there there cannot be any wood in this system only wheat and when there's wheat in it It'll get pushed through. Is it taking everything out? No, it's putting everything in. Um, if we put weed in here, everything can go into the barrels. If we put wood in there, it'll clog up. So that's not really what we want. We need to put the right wood in the right, uh, the right item in the right chest. Um, so that's basically what we need to figure out. <laughs> and it's a bit of a mess, but I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work. But we're going to try that instead of um, showing all of the, the boring, repetitive footage. Um, did that just go into the the backpack? It did. Chaka! That works again. I've turned off all of my farms for now. Uh, because I need to mess around with this first. So, the idea is to create a ring of items around this place. And I think um, I'm going to... Well, I've placed the ring once already. And I did it on the inside. Now I'm going to fall back on that idea. So I'm going to cancel that plan. And we are going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm stuck. We are going to place the ring on the outside. Because the outer circle is bigger than the inner one. And we'll need a hell of a lot of um, diamond pipes. to. F well, we'll need to fit in a lot of diamond pipes. So basically it's best to use the the biggest circle so we can fit in more if, if we need if we ever need to um, so that's what I'm going to do um, we'll put it one down okay we won't put it on the level of the walkway of the boardwalk so like this and we'll put an iron pipe underneath Hup. I'm just building this as we go so this could horribly go wrong I'm sorry in advance if it does <laughs> I hope not I will make a one-way track, basically. So let's send all of the items that way, okay? So the, the, the circle will go clockwise. And this will clog up most of the items. It, well, clog. It will make everything go a little bit slower. But to make this more easier on ourselves, I think it's a needed change. Uh, and I think if we didn't do this, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, so it's best to prevent than to cure. I would not like to um, fit one pipe for every item or, or every few items uh, in here. That would make a mess. That would make it chaos. I like to retain structure. Maintain structure. That's it. <laughs> okay. So I will pull this all the way around. And as you can see, these pipes, we need to attach those uh, at some point but only for items that can fit in the barrel uh, and that'll be the challenge for this project <laughs> as you can see I've already yeah I've left oh yeah this is the the melon farm for example okay um, we'll probably have two iron pipes here see this is why I don't want it flush with the, the thing so we, we can maintain a little bit more of structure like that okay and we'll make that go all the way around and don't worry well let's wrench these and it won't be as efficient like it won't be for the melons for example it won't be efficient because it will have to do the whole tour uh, I know but it's yeah that's the downside it'll reduce speed a little bit You know what, we could place a golden pipe over here and speed it up just a little bit, maybe. 
Yeah, we could do that. Okay, the circle has been laid out. Um, now we need to create a lot of diamond pipes and we'll replace parts of this circle with the diamond pipes. I'm going to try and stay away from placing diamond pipes in here. We should have um, these pipes. You know what? I think it would be better if we would make the circle go counterclockwise. I think that would be better because we definitely need wood as fast as possible. We don't really need all of the all the rest of the items as fast as possible. Uh, so we are going to make it counterclockwise. It'll be better for our food as well because food is more important than than wheat in my opinion. Um, edibles and wood, that's the main concern. And if we make it counterclockwise, we'll fix that problem. That is really good. Okay, uh, I am going to mess around with this a little bit more. I hope you get the principle of what I'm going for. Uh, I might put, I might make all of the inner pipes, so the circle will be cobblestone pipes, but all of the inner pipes I might make stone pipes. Um, why? I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, I think it would be for the best that we did, so that they don't conflict with each other, as in the circle with the with the stone ones, because these pipes they won't they won't connect to each other, but they do the same thing. So I think that would be for the best. Um, I'm going to mess around with that, and then I'll be back. I was just looking around here, and I don't think we'll need that many diamond pipes. We can do one diamond pipe per row, really. That would be sufficient. So we'll need four on each side. Uh, and that is pretty doable. So I've created 16 diamond pipes. I still had one. Um, and now I need to fiddle around with this and make this all work. So the items are going to go that way. We can def we definitely have room for more golden pipes as well. I kind of exaggerated. I didn't really know that we'd need this few uh, diamond pipes, really. Um... <laughs> So, one, two, three, four. How many rows did we have? Four or five? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, four rows. We only need 12 pipes then. So let's do one, two, three, four. All right. And we'll connect this one again. Cobblestone. Chaka. And that should work. Let's put some iron pipes now. We'll connect all of these with iron pipes. Like that. And now we need to wrench those up. So we want them to go over here where I'm flying at the moment. That means uh, we need... Let's put a cobblestone pipe. Uh, a stone pipe, we said. Stone pipe. Oh god, <laughs> it's such a puzzle. Like that, like, oh, we can only choose one side, can't we? Oh, it doesn't matter. Like that and like that. That should work. And now let's put a golden pipe here, actually. And we'll put stone pipes all the way leading to the chest, like this. And that should connect. This should be working. For the wood, if we would put uh, sapling, well, wood, plank, sapling, sapling, every item in this, in these barrels, that would work. I hope. Did I do this right? Yeah, they'll go over here, they'll go over here, and they'll go over here. Excellent. And we'll put a golden pipe here, Chuk. and we'll put another golden pipe right behind there. Actually, yeah, let's put one here. We've got, we've got plenty of space, okay? And I'll do this for the other sides as well. And uh, then we'll fit in some of the items. As you can see, I've got every item in this part of the storage room. Uh, let's go back and we'll fit those in. I'll show you how, to, how I'm going to do that or how I do that. Um, first thing we need is all the wood types and they will need to go to the 
green side. So let's just do that. Uh, <laughs> all of the wood in the green side. Okay, jungle. We got jungle twice now. Okay, spruce. A Sasha birch. Okay. Now that one will have all the planks in the green side as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Then we'll have all of these saplings in this one. I know I have too much golden pipes even, but I'm a programmer. I think as a, like a programmer. And um, one of the rules of programming is open for closed for modification, open for extension. So if we ever get more saplings, we'll need to fit those in on this blue side, which only has three, six, nine slots. Um, so we definitely need to take that into account. Uh, let's do the regular ones first. Birch, jungle, rubber. And then we'll do all the special ones. Uh, sorry, not like that. Like this. In the blue one, all of the special saplings. Like that. Excellent. That should work. Um, I'm going to do that for all of these. And then we'll give this a test run. I'm really excited about that. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're ready, guys. I just send out Woody again, he's going to chop some trees for us and uh, we'll definitely be able to test out the wood farm. I'm going to turn on my wheat farm again as well. And we should see items flowing immediately, well almost immediately, so turn this back on. Excellent. Um, do we have enough of everything? Yeah, sure. Good. Herb. That's good. Okay. Now, let's follow some of the items that go through here. Um, and we'll put another golden pipe right over here. So, all the items will go counterclockwise. And I've set everything up as I showed you. So, this is all the wood, for example. On the other side, we have all of the melons and, and all of the food basically this is special food uh, uncooked food including an egg i consider that uncooked <laughs> leather poison all the miscellaneous and then the cooked stuff and then right over here whoop, i've got seeds and bone meal um i've got all the loot the mob drops I've got random stuff like nature stuff, including rub rubber wood, and then this stuff. Okay. Oh! Nice! It's working! <laughs> nice! Oh my. Yeah, it's seriously working. So it skips everything and then it goes to that chest. Wow! That is seriously epic. I, I never. Well. I guess that it would work, but it's, it could have gone wrong horribly at the same time. Let's check up on our friend. He's not back yet. Let's manually put in some wood, maybe. Let's get some regular oak wood and we'll get some birch wood as well. And we'll put it into the cargo manager. We'll put everything in. And we'll follow the wood as we go. So, the wood should get extracted. Yep. Okay. And it'll go through these pipes, as you can see. Oh my god. <laughs> I should place an extra pipe there, maybe. Ah, it doesn't really matter. As long as the items get there. Great. And they'll go into the walkway. Underneath, they should come out over here. Just a minute. There we go. They'll go that way. Awesome. Oh, and there's some wheat as well. Okay. And they should go in here. Come on, wood. Yes. 
and they'll all go into this chest and they'll be inserted in our storage room. Oh, nice. <laughs> so the wood is going up, as you can see, 23, 24, 25. And our wheat should go up as well. 37. <laughs> that is seriously awesome. I'm getting a little bit of FPS drops in here. I'm, I'm at 30 solid now and... Well, now I'm at 50, so it stopped probably. No, it's still going. Yeah, 30. Normally I'm at 70 now with the new graphics card and everything. Awesome, awesome. Okay, that's another project well done. Uh, I'm going to fix up the walkway and everything. I'll do that off camera. I'm going to end the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, glad you like the new microphone sound. I, I'm seriously addicted to it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.